Hello and welcome to the industrial zone here on the ST stand at Electronica where the team has been building a vision of the factory of tomorrow but for today. I'll be talking to two of ST's leading industry engineers in a minute. Alish Lloydel here will be focusing on factory automation but first let me bring in Mohammed Afzal. Good morning Chris. Lovely to see you, we've got so much to talk about. Let's start with the three key messages when it comes to smart industry for ST. Sure Chris. The one you already talked, factory automation. The other two key areas we are focusing first is the vision and AI, and the second is the sensing and connectivity. And both of them are responsible to make industry more smart and connected. Right, vision AI, because this is a brilliant example of that. Yeah, I, I believe, Chris, it's a real production line, and I believe this is a great example of ST's solution in action. But before I jump into the demo, I have one simple question for you. Have you ever received a parcel that was damaged and you had to return it? No, nope, never. Really? Yes, yes, of course, yes. Yeah, I can imagine this is really frustrating because you were looking forward to get that parcel, now it's damaged, you have to return it and ask for the reclaim. But just imagine for a moment, what if that the damage can be recognized earlier before it leaves for a distribution center, take it out and replace it? And I think that would be the perfect scenario. And that's exactly what we are showing here at Electronica. So what we see here is a production line where different boxes are moving around and there's a vision system which is recognizing the damage. Very quick vision system. Very, very quick. And this is because you know because of all this online retail, millions of packages are processed every single day. And so this system must be very, very fast. Sometimes even scanning parcels, multiple items or multiple parcels per second. Multiple items per second. Incredible. Let's move on to sensing and connectivity then. So on the sensing and connectivity, there are two key aspects, and both are revolving around the early warning system. The first is where the companies are having some machines on the production line, and they want to make sure that those machines are running smoothly, and there's no unplanned downtime. Because with the unplanned downtime, there will be delay in the production, and eventually delay of the product delivery to the customer and we can make that happen with the help of the magic of predictive maintenance. Where you put the sensor on machine that is analyzing different parameters and then you have a microcontroller to process that information and do the anomaly detection so that you can have some sort of alerts to send it to an operator so that he can see that there is a failure happening and can reduce the downtime from let's say few hours to few minutes. It is like in the direction of uh, reducing the unplanned downtime. And just linked to that is asset tracking, isn't it? Yeah, asset tracking you can also put in the sensing and connectivity because there you need some sort of sensors to put on the asset, first to know the location, and second also to know the condition of the asset as it is moving around maybe through different countries, different logistic facilities. And that's very crucial because nowadays everything is automatic. You want to handle all the logistics and all the facilities fully automatic and there you need electronics in the form of the asset tracking. And I'm very happy that it's not something that we are doing on the prototype phase. We have a few customers here at Electronica and I'm very proud they're already embedding ST's technology in their final product. Fantastic stuff, Mohammed. Thank you so much for now. We are going to focus for a couple of minutes on factory automation. Let me bring in my next guest, Alish Lloydel. Hello, Chris. You have two big stories to tell me, don't you? Yes, exactly. But first, firstly, I would like to point to your attention to this small unconscious box. And this is, I'm very proud of it to have it here, because this is coming from Siemens, which is undisputed leader for factory automation in all around the world. And this is the Simatic uh, distributed I.O. system. So this is a scalable system to control more or less everything in the factory, from the small to the huge one. So you can have a lot of this. And this is a very advanced system. If I can just tell you one, one nice story is about this hotspot feature. Hotspot. Hot swap. Which means that if hot something- swap. Swap, yes. Okay. <laughs> so if there is something wrong in the fab, yeah. so for example, one module is burning for whatever reason, the technician can just come Take it out, even with everything powered, take it out, take it back, and it's working down. So the downtime is second. Downtime is second. So it can really help. And also we are trying to work with Siemens to, to design the semiconductors, which are of course inside, for all the aspects inside, either for the inputs, so the protections for the inputs, or for the high side drivers, which are driving the outputs, 
and also and similar devices uh, around this application. Listen, automation is fantastic. I love it. But sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes robots get sick. Yeah, sometimes the, the robot gets sick and not malfunctioning. I'm not it's not work. To work today. No. <laughs> so it's not. But what you need to, you need to count with that. And that's why we also uh, prepared the, the small demo just behind you with the robot, where at certain moments it starts shaking. But it's on purpose to demonstrate, yes, this can happen. Some misalignment of the movement or something. But thanks to this solution, starting from the sensor, from the mens through the predictive maintenance, and ending up with the ST spin uh, motor driver, just to correct this misbehavior, and really to make, again, just the seconds to correct it and make the fab running again. Alice, I love the idea about robots misbehaving. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. And Mohammed, thank you so much for your time today. We have covered so much, and there's so much more on ST.com.